And what went out is a kitchen fire for Saddle West, and in fact turned out to be a, a fire contained to a deep fat fryer. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was some scorching to the surfaces above that, but the Saddle West crew did a really good job. They kept their heads. They took a nearby extinguisher, extinguished the fire prior to our arrival. We came in and did an investigation and found that there was a light smoke condition within that structure, but natural horizontal ventilation cleared that smoke out with no problems and really didn't impact their surface level at all. A deep frat fryers, we don't normally have them in our homes, but we do have grease fryers. How would a resident put them out? Yeah, basically the same thing is to remove the heat. If we have it in a frying pan, mm -hmm. we want to turn off the heat, cover it, turn off the heat, and remove it from the element. Mm -hmm. What happens in a lot of cases, people automatically go to the water and throw it on, and all that does is fire the grease. You can get sustained burns. Mm -hmm. You can extend the fire. In many cases, it can come out with explosive force. So cover, return it, and remove it from the heat is the best thing. 911 immediately and get us on the way. Saddle West was still able to uh, stay open? Yeah, they, uh, the type of extinguisher they used didn't cause the mess that uh, using a dry chem can do, and it was relatively contained. So it's just a matter of some local cleanup in that area, and uh, it shouldn't have affected it. It gave them actually plenty of time because this occurred around 2.30 in the morning, so before their breakfast service would open.